I hope you all learned a lot. There will be a test at 4 o'clock. <laughs> Our first individual presentation is in the area of biology. Frederick Lang is from the uh, St. John School in Houston, Texas. His mentor is Dr. Anwar Hussein. He's a researcher at the uh, MD Anderson Cancer, not cancer, Center, uh, Department of Neurology, University of Texas. Frederick? Good afternoon. My name is Fred Lang. I'd first like to thank the Siemens Foundation and George Washington University for giving me the opportunity to present my data at this event. The goal of this presentation is to describe my data showing the feasibility of a novel strategy for treating a type of brain tumor called glioblastoma. Specifically, by the end of this presentation, I hope that I will have convinced you that glioblastomas can be effectively treated with a special type of RNA called microRNA and that these microRNAs can be delivered to glioblastomas using a special type of adult stem cell called mesenchymal stem cells or using nano-sized vesicles called exosomes that are made by these stem cells. My project focused on glioblastoma, which is the most common and most aggressive primary brain tumor in adults. Despite maximum therapy, patients with GBM survive for only a little more than a year, and most are dead by five years. This poor outcome is due to the fact that glioblastomas are rapidly growing and highly invasive tumors. At the cellular level, GBMs are thought to be driven by a population of cells with stem-like properties called glioma stem cells, or GSCs. These cells can be cultured from patient tumors, form invasive tumors when implanted into the brains of animals, and are considered the most resistant cells in GBMs. On a molecular level, uninhibited oncogenes and inactivated tumor suppressor genes drive the uncontrolled gl growth of glioma stem cells. Equally important, GBMs are particularly difficult to treat compared with other cancers because of the unique presence of the blood-brain or blood tumor barrier, a functional wall that inhibits efficient delivery of therapeutic agents to brain tumors. Given these hurdles, an effective therapeutic approach to cure glioblastoma must include a treatment that attacks glioma stem cells, particularly the genes driving these cells, and must include a way of delivering this treatment that overcomes the blood-brain and blood tumor barrier. Based on these concepts, I tested the use of a type of naturally occurring RNA called microRNAs as my therapeutic agent to directly target the genes driving the proliferation of glioma stem cells. MicroRNA, or MIRs, are single-stranded, single untranslated RNA of about 19 to 25 base pairs long that function as powerful regulators of gene expression by binding to messenger RNA and signaling the mRNA for degradation or blocking translation. Several papers have shown that microRNAs uh, are dysregulating glioma stem cells and therefore contribute to the malignant phenotype of GSCs. One of the core ideas of this project is that forced overexpression of specific mirrors, which are downregulated in GSCs, should kill the GSCs and be of therapeutic benefit. Based on this idea, in this project, I tested microRNA as my therapeutic agent. Unfortunately, naked mirrors cannot be delivered to brain tumors because they are rapidly degraded in blood and do not cross the blood brain barrier. Therefore, in order for mirrors to be used in patients, I needed to develop a system to package and deliver them to tumors. In this context, over the past several years, the laboratory in which I worked has developed bone marrow human mesenchymal stem cells as novel delivery vehicles for therapeutic agents to glioblastoma. Mesenchymal stem cells are normal adult stem cells that can be easily acquired from the bone marrow. They grow as spindle-shaped cells in culture, and they've already been used in non-cancer clinical trials. Importantly, in a paper they published in 2005, the lab in which I worked injected mesenchymal stem cells into the bloodstreams of animals harboring gliomas and showed that MSCs, here labeled re with red fluorescence, have the natural ability to home to or localize to brain tumors. Since that initial publication, the lab has shown that these cells can be used to deliver secretable proteins and even anti-tumor viruses. In their effort to expand the role of mesenchymal stem cells in brain tumor therapy, the lab recently made two important observations pertinent to my project. First, they show that MSCs secrete large amounts of exosomes, which are, uh, which are nano-sized vesicles of 30 to 100 nanometers in diameter. The lab's second observation was that these exosomes contain microRNA, as shown by the blue bars in this microRNA array. These observations indicate that MSCs have the natural machinery to package, 
a microRNA into exosomes and to secrete these exosomes into the surrounding medium. Because exosomes are known to act as critical intercellular communication vehicles that are stable in blood, they have the potential to be used as therapeutic delivery vehicles of microRNAs. Based on this information, I sought to exploit the natural processes of microRNAs, mesenchymal stem cells, and exosomes. I hypothesized that GBMs, particularly GSEs, can be effectively treated with microRNAs and that these microRNAs can be delivered to GBMs via bone marrow human mesenchymal stem cells or via the exosomes derived from the MSCs. To test the first part of my hypothesis, that microRNAs can be used to treat gliomas, I first sought to identify specific mirrors that were effective against gliomas. I took a candidate approach in which I reviewed the literature looking for mirrors that are downregulated in glioma, gliomas with the idea that I would overexpress them and correct the mirror loss. This review identified MIR-100, MIR-124, and MIR-491 as potential anti-glioma mirrors. To test the effect of these mirrors on GSCs, I used lentivirus technology. Specifically, I treated a variety of GSCs with lentiviruses containing the cDNA of the precursors of my candidate mirrors, or as controls, the cDNA of a scrambled mirror or a medium alone. Lentivirus also contain the cDNA for green fluorescent protein to track transduction efficiency. After seven days, GSCs were assayed for viability, and PCR was used to verify MIR overexpression. Treatment with MIR-100 or with MIR-491 had no effect on each of the GSCs tested, as seen by the green bars compared with the controls. In contrast, treatment with MIR-124 resulted in significant inhibitions of GSC viability. For example, treatment with GSC-267 resulted in an 80% decrease in survival when compared to treatment with controls. Similar growth inhibitions were seen in the other cell lines. Fluorescent microscopy for green fluorescent protein verified that GSCs were transduced efficiently, and PCR confirmed that MIR-124 was overexpressed due to lentivirus transduction in GSCs. Having identified MIR-124 as an effective anti-glioma microRNA, I now needed to develop the mesenchymal stem cell delivery system. To this end, I sought to show that mesenchymal stem cells could package MIR-124 into exosomes. To achieve this goal, I plated MSCs transduced them with the MIR-124 virus, collected the medium, and isolated the exosomes. I then lysed the exosomes, collected the RNA, and analyzed it for MIR-124 expression using PCR. Fluorescent microscopy indicated that about 95% of MSCs were transduced. PCR indicated that exosomes derived from MSCs engineered with the MIR-124 virus contained 59-fold more MIR-124 than exosomes derived from the control MSCs. This result proves that MSCs can be engineered to produce exosomes containing superphysiological levels of MIR-124. I next sought to test whether these engineered MSCs could kill glioblastoma. We wanted our in vitro experiments to mimic how the engineered MSCs would be used clinically in patients. We envisioned that these cells could be used in two ways. In the first strategy, which I call strategy A, MSCs are transduced with the MIR-124 virus. MSCs are then collected and inj injected intraarterially, after which they home to the brain tumor and secrete exosomes containing MIR-124. In this strategy, MSCs function as in vivo or intratumoral biofactories of the exosomes carrying the microRNA. Given this potential use in patients, the goal of my next experiment was to mimic this clinical approach in vitro. To do this, I performed transwell experiments. Specifically, MSCs were engineered with the MIR-124 virus. MSCs were then collected and plated in the upper well of transwell plates, and GSCs were plated in the lower well. This setup simulates the scenario after the MSCs arrive in the tumor. The two cell types were separated by a membrane with 0.4 micron pores, allowing the nanosized exosomes, but not the MSCs, to be transferred. And after seven days, GSCs were assayed for viability. Shown here are the results of this study. In three different GSC lines, the viability of GSCs was significantly inhibited after treatment with MSCs engineered to secrete exosomes containing MIR-124 when compared with treatment with MSCs engineered to secrete exosomes containing a scrambled control MIR or with untransduced MSCs. This experiment shows the feasibility of strategy A because MSCs engineered to secrete exosomes containing MIR-124 inhibit the growth of GSCs. I also envisioned a second strategy, which I call strategy B. In this strategy, Mesenchymal stem cells are again transduced. However, instead of collecting the MSCs, the exosomes produced by the MSCs are and carrying microRNA-124 are collected from the medium. These exosomes, rather than the MSCs, are injected into the patient, target the tumor, and deliver the MIR-124. 
As you can see in this approach, MSCs function as ex vivo biofactories for the production of exosomes carrying the antiglioma mirror. To mimic this strategy, I performed exosome feeding experiments. Specifically, MSCs were engineered with the Miron24 virus and cultured. The medium was collected, exosomes were isolated, and exosomes were added or fed to cultured GSCs. This setup simulates the scenario after the engineered exosomes arrive in the tumor. And after seven days, GSCs were assayed for viability. The results of this experiment are graphed here. Treatment with exosomes containing the scrambled mirror or treatment with, exosomes, or treatment with egg, empty exosomes had no effect compared with no treatment. In contrast, treatment with exosomes containing Miron24 significantly reduced GSC viability in both GSC lines tested compared with controls. This experiment shows the feasibility of strategy B, using the exosomes as the delivery vehicle of microRNA. In conclusion, these experiments provide the in vitro proof of concept that first, the growth of GSCs can be inhibited by overexpression of antiglioma microRNA. Specifically, MIR-124 was identified as an effective antiglioma agent against a variety of GSC lines. Second, I have shown that MSCs can be engineered to package and secrete exosomes containing an antiglioma microRNA, in our case, MIR-124. This result positions mesenchymal stem cells as part of a delivery strategy for microRNAs. Third, transwell experiments indicate that MSCs can function as in vivo or intratumoral biofactories for the production of exosomes containing Miron24 to inhibit GSCs as outlined in strategy A. Lastly, exosome feeding experiments indicate that MSCs can function as in vitro biofactories for Miron24 carrying exosomes, which can then be used to inhibit GSCs as outlined in strategy B. In all, these in vitro experiments provide the foundation for in vivo preclinical animal studies and the ultimate translation of this approach to patients. I'd like to end by saying thank you to my mentor, Dr. Hossein, and my fellow laboratory members. I again thank the Siemens Foundation, the College Board, and George Washington University for this opportunity. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>